happen to be black. Support your local library. That was a bad idea. <laughs> because you're trying to hate you, you a superstar. Happy Pack Week. Thank you. For sure. Yeah. Japan ain't as cheap as you think. And sometimes structures like racism. Subscribe, like, like, subscribe, like, comment, and I can subscribe, like, comment. This is for you, you, my number one. Oh, 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 Top five R&B album of all time. I might even push it to say it is top three. When I took you from the back, you, you a superstar. You know who you was. I know who you are. That's what baby it is. Cut that ass off and fuck it. Don't come here and check on it. In Japan with this series. Um, it's amazing to see all of the views. I mean 10,000 plus views on the entire series. It's really a blessing to um, be able to share these travel experiences with you all. I thank y'all for rocking with me. I thank y'all for getting hit with the lingo. I thank y'all for using context clues. I thank each and every one of y'all that loved the series, left a comment, and just really enjoyed the travels and enjoy Japan from a perspective of a man like me. Secondly, if you haven't already, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, all those good things. Or don't like the video or don't subscribe. If you don't find this content to be fulfilling for you, by all means, my baby, just like go ahead and just not watch it. This is for vulnerable, secure, grown Adults, preferably black men. However, this space is for anybody who has love, respect, honor, morals, and courage in their heart. So I invite you to hit the like button if you like or, or don't. It really doesn't make me no difference. What I wanted to share with you all is some of the things that I gathered while I was in Japan. I got back maybe about a couple of months ago. It was truly one of the most life-changing trips that I've ever had. I paid $1,400 for my flight. I went for quite a bit of time, so I would always recommend for folks to do planning ahead of time. Use search engines to help get the best prices for your flights, whether that be to Japan, whether that be to Korea, whether that be to any other country or destination that you choose. Now this list could be 10 to 15 points long. Just rock with me, I'm here to give you all the information so you can make sure that your trip to Japan or Korea is as amazing as you plan for it to be. So go ahead, pull you up another shot of whiskey. Maybe you and Jack Daniels got a history. All right, first thing that I learned in Japan. And it's not necessarily the first thing that I learned per se, but this is one thing that would have enhanced the trip to heights that would have been unimaginable. And I actually got this as I was leaving Japan um, from Ari, who I just happened to see with the little Sam shirt on. You'll see her in um, my coming back home vlog. I believe that's day 15. We talked about being able to speak the language. If you are able to speak Japanese 20 to 30%, hell, even 40%, Newsflash, cuz everybody don't speak English everywhere. I heard that 
<laughs> a couple of times why people don't speak English. And it's like, fam, we in Japan. Like, we in they country. You know what I'm saying? Like, we have to accustom ourselves to their traditions, to their norms, to their customs, to their culture. And I firmly believe that by speaking the language or even having like a semblance of it, maybe watching like Japanese anime or watching Japanese reality shows, you'll be better suited, better prepared to enjoy your trip in Japan. Number two, if you are vegetarian, pescatarian, or like myself, vegan adjacent, <laughs> download Happy Cow. Try to locate places to eat can be a bit of a challenge, especially if you are in a foreign country where you do not speak the language. Thankfully, Happy Cow made it so easy for me to get the food that I need. And by the way, this is not a sponsored ad. I'm just giving you the game so that way you don't look lame when y'all start looking for food and you don't recognize the name. You feel me? <laughs> I was planning to go in December of last year. That didn't happen. So I was doing research for this trip, maybe about, it would have been a, a year and a half, closer to two years, about um, the places I could eat, things that I would be able to not get like an upset stomach over. Japan, listen, they are so amazing when it comes to their food culture. They are so amazing when it comes to really providing nourishing meals for affordable prices. Affordable is relative, of course. I paid on average for food, it might have been around seven bucks. And that was me pushing it. I spent more money in Korea on food than I did in Japan. And if you are not a part of the vegan game, the beef is amazing. It's high quality food, which kind of shows why the people in Japan live longer and you know more healthier lives because you know of the food that they put in their body third thing that i learned i did not do this but best believe on my next trip for my next series i definitely will get this and that's medical coverage definitely get medical coverage y'all <laughs> yeah, i didn't even know it was a real thing until i was leaving japan i was like again you got to get out your American mindset when you go to another country and just get the insurance coverage. You never know what can happen. Again, they tried to get me with the woo wah wah They tried to get me, you know what I'm saying? I take full responsibility. There are only a couple ways I can get sick and, you know. <laughs> Osaka, my baby. Osaka, you just had to be there. <laughs> At any rate, definitely get medical insurance. It's going to help you. A ton. Hold on. Oh, hey. Hey, how you doing? Good. How are you? I'm good. I'm actually recording a YouTube video right now. I like the little eyes and stuff, the natural hair, you know. It looks nice. Thank you. For sure. Yeah. Yeah, let me, let me call you when I'm done talking to the YouTube folks. Yeah, so anywho. <laughs> Definitely bad. Medical insurance for sure is a must. The fourth thing that I like um, on a very serious note. Um, racism as a black man with locks and very strong African features you can experience some microaggressions you can experience some ignorance you can experience folks who may be a little bit timid at you being in close presence. What I want to share with folks is that there's a difference between racism, which is a structural thing that was created to further push agendas and narratives. And then you have ignorance. Ignorance is when folks just don't know. They haven't had the opportunity to interact with folks of your culture and they only see what they know. Now, both things can be fueled by stereotypes of certain cultures. However, the big difference is that with exposure comes knowledge. And with the other, it is just a perpetual way to keep certain marginalized groups down. With that being said, there's more ignorance than it is racism. However, in one of my videos, you all did see folks who 
share just, you know, some some ugly things, but rub off me like water because at the end of the day, one is the internet. Two, you would never, and I repeat, never say no crap like that to my face. And three, those type of things only feed in the negativity. People just want to stir a reaction out of you. Now, again, I'm from that way. So you play like that, you lay like that. But at the same time, I'm also an adult. I'm also grown. I've also went past those things in my life. Again, I talk to y'all a lot about vulnerability, opening up, being true to yourself, and also healing from the wounds that the, your environment, that your situations have laid upon you. So... Those things no longer concern me, that that hate speech or those hateful words. What I'm here to do is I'm here to show light. I'm here to show that there are different ways that a black man can be. Like you all see me from the way that I dress. Like today I'm on my cowboy tip, you know, shout out Boozy. Next time I could be on, you know, some straight, I got my gold chains on. I can have on a business suit. I'm multifaceted. I'm not just one type of black man. I can be quote unquote many types of black men. And we breaking down those stereotypes and we breaking down those barriers. Shout out to you for watching this video. Let's take a sip to that. With all that being said, it's a lot of love in Japan and trust me, you will run into way more love than way more hate. I love you Japan, Osaka. So the next tip is if you a tall person or if you're a bit bigger, you're going to have a hard time finding clothes there. I was telling folks I'm going to do all my shopping in Japan. I'm going to bring things as light as possible. You might even heard me allude to that in the Copenhagen vlog. That was a bad idea. <laughs> you see in one of the videos, like, literally, it was tricky to find, like, different... Hold on, y'all. It was super tricky for me to find clothes that fit, clothes that I can wear, it, it just be kind of came a thing of its own. You're a tall person like me, bigger person. You need to bring your own clothes. I wear a size 11. I had a hard time finding shoes. I just happened to find the Air Force Ones and thankfully they run big. So I was able to get a size, um, a half size under and the shoes were able to fit me perfect. Had I not, boy, oh boy, this would have been a long trip. So again, going to Japan, you got big feet, big feet, means anything over a 10 and a half, 11. Nine to 10 is like that sweet spot when it comes to men's shoes, women, you all are great, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all have to worry about nothing. You can find clothes wherever. For my guys though, listen broskies, trust me, bring your own clothes. I can't stress this enough, Osaka, Hiroshima, those are the places to go shop. Go shop in the Americana region for Hiroshima, go to the Hiroshima, shopping district and tokyo is just tokyo i found some fire stuff there but they gonna tax you it's not no different than shopping in london new york or if you haven't been to those places just envision like premier shopping location and think of the expensive side and that's the equivalent to what the prices would be like which also kind of says way into like my next tip japan ain't as cheap as you think i got my flight for the lows my food for the lows however my stay, travel was pretty um, affordable because I took the train everywhere. But my stay, clothes, it, 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 it got pricey. It got pricey. I would strongly suggest staying in hostels. And even I learned um, through my homeboy Mace, what up though? He was sharing with me about the different hostels that you could stay in. And also like you can stay in hostels by yourself. Um, if you want a private bathroom, you can save a little bit more money. But at the end of the day, let's face it, you're going to be spending your money more so on the experiences rather than staying at like this five-star hotel. But again, if you want to stay at the five-star hotel, do your thing, bougie king, you feel me? I'm, you know, I'm, I'm cut from a certain cloth, so I might like to experience some of those things from time to time. But in hindsight, I probably should have stayed at a couple of more hostels, you feel me? It can get pretty pricey. The secondhand stores that they have, they are just like, again, premier shopping stores. Again, you're gonna find some gems like this. And this cost me either like 10 to 20 US dollars. You could probably get this same tea at a thrift store for like three dollars. There's also differences between secondhand, vintage, and thrift. Vintage is, when we say vintage here in the States, 
we typically mean like the thrift stop. It's one and the same. Those two are interchangeable. But over in Japan, secondhand stores or vintage shops are towards the high end of things. So again, keep that in mind when you're shopping in Japan. If you're looking for cheap finds or you're looking for really inexpensive purchases, just be mindful when you go into these secondhand or vintage stores that that's not necessarily always going to be the case. You're going to find things that are going to be quite expensive. However, there'll be some gems, but if you really want to find like things for like the lows, try to look for like thrift stores or thrift shops while you're in Japan. Next thing that I learned, as an American, we are used to accommodations being big. By accommodations, I mean where you be staying at in your hotel room. If you pay $150 for a hotel room, on average, it's probably gonna be just as big as this living room or my living room that I'm in. Maybe a little bit smaller, but you're gonna have space to walk around in that thing. In Japan, that ain't the case, big dog. It's going to be tighter. Extremely tight. In Japan, the model is efficiency. So, be prepared. Don't be shocked. Combination's going to be a little bit more smaller. But you in Japan, you ain't going to be in a room for long anyways. And you probably should have got a hostel. So, hey, who cares? But at least you know from watching Suki's videos. Next thing that I learned, Japan, especially when it comes to America, it's so much more safer. <laughs> you might have seen a couple people on there scrapping. Um, I don't know the nationality of the two men that were fighting per se. You, you could make the case that one was half full, but I'm not here to guess or speculate. Like that doesn't happen typically in Japan at all. Even then, like it got shelled quickly, you know what I'm saying, by folks who were Japanese that just wasn't having that type of stuff in Shibuya. I left my computer at Starbucks for about two or three hours. Came back and it was still sitting right there. It was, up, I was uploading the video to YouTube and it just, there's nothing like that piece of knowing that like, your stuff is good. And it's really cool that like, it's commonplace for people to leave their things out in the open or to have that decency for others belongings to me is truly special in japan you get a heart for me 10 out of 10 love 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 that about you even though i'm saying this again yo please use your instincts please try to be street smart street safe even though japan is safe use common sense avoid massage parlors anytime <laughs> for me i'm cool but to each his own what i'm saying is you never want to put yourself in a predicament where you're dealing with other folks who are not Japanese or who are Japanese into a business that could be, you know, whatever the case may be. All I'm saying is just use common sense. If you want to indulge in late night massages, understand that one, Silk did not tell you to go do that. Three, you are, or two, you are indulging in things at your own risk and three, hey, the police don't play out there. They will, they will deport you. Call Wickly, my boy. Call Wickly. Another thing that I learned, download an IC car or buy an IC car. If you have an Apple phone, you can download the Suica app and get your own Suica card. Or you can get your Suica card in person. Now, from what I heard, there might be shortages of chips. So you kind of shooting the dice if you waiting to go there to get you a squeaker card. Also, you can use your squeaker card at 7-Elevens, which are extremely big over there in Japan, Lawson's, as well as any other place that accepts squeaker cards. One of my favorite ramen spots down in Shibuya, they accept this squeaker. You even see me pay for the food with my squeaker card. It was free of charge and it made things so much more easier. You've seen in the Hiroshima vlog, there was like these group of tourists and you know, it just took it longer than what it needed to be. And it's like, darn, if you would have just went ahead and downloaded that Suica card, you would have been A-OK, -okay, you would have been crispy, you feel me? But look, it is what it is. But definitely, definitely, definitely download your Suica card or another IC card, depending on whichever prefecture um, or whichever, I guess for lack of a better word, whichever state you're in in Japan. Lastly, I, I would say, um, and one of the main things that I learned is that, hey, listen, man, 
Google Maps is your best friend. It's great in Japan, but if you're going to Korea, you probably will get a little bit more confused and Google Maps could take you on places that could make things longer than what it needs to be. So download Kako Maps, K-A-K-A-O Maps, regular way you spell maps. And even though a lot of the directions and things on there is Korean, using that in conjunction with Google Maps could help you from some potential future headaches. You definitely download your maps offline in case you're going out to a museum or if you're going out to meet up with friends or anything of that nature. You definitely want to make sure you know where you're going. One last thing, and this is super duper important. Oh my God. I used eSIM while I was there. I purchased the plan on Airlo, which is a eSIM app. And I got the data only plan, which I was just using data and WhatsApp to like talk to folks anyway. So like, for me, it was cool. I just needed the data to be able to navigate, to be able to pay for things in the pinch when I'm not under Wi-Fi, things of that nature. However, when I lost my passport, it was, what, 9, 10 at night? And like, in order for me to make a call out, I had to use an actual like phone. I had to have actual service. So last tip, have a backup plan if you are going to go data only on your phone, whether that is maybe even just bringing like an Android phone that you could just swap in and out of a SIM. SIMs are really affordable there. Just have the backup just in case. As my recap, top things that I learned during my trip to Japan. Big shout out again to my nieces and nephews who inspire me every day to grow, adapt, and to remain a light in sometimes what could be a dark place. But with that being said, you know how we end those videos. Throw it up like you sick, baby. Isa, We in here. I'll let y'all later. Or I'm gonna go call Shirley back. All right, y'all. Peace out. I bounce back. Wake up every morning by the night. I count stacks. Knew that ass was real. When